everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. People always ask me, what's the best sewing machine for beginners? What's the best sewing machine for upcyclers? Today, I hope, I hope to give you two great options for that as well as let you know, give you all the information that you need to know in order to make the final choice. We're going head to head, challenge one versus the other to the death, and <laughs> not really, but we are going to compare them to find out which is the best budget mechanical sewing machine for upcycling. Let's get ready to rumble! In this corner, we have the Brother ST371 HD Strong and Tough. It is priced at $169.99, so $170. It has 37 stitches, and the speed is 800 stitches per minute. It has a one-step buttonhole, automatic threader, and it does come with an instructional manual and a DVD. And as an extra, it has a drop fee for free motion sewing. It has a 25-year limited warranty and phone support for the life of the product. Number 15 transparent bobbins. It has a free arm and an extra high lifter foot. The accessories that it comes with are zipper foot, blind stitch foot, buttonhole foot, button sewing foot, spring action zigzag foot, non-stick foot, twin needle, three-piece needle set, four bobbins, extra spool pin, two spool caps, screwdriver, and machine dust cover. And in this corner, we have the Singer Heavy Duty 4452. The price is $190. I got the 4452 because it came with a walking foot. The walking foot on Amazon is typically about $19. So the one down from this 4432, the only difference is some additional accessories, which includes the walking foot. So I figured that was worth the extra $10. It has 32 stitches. The speed is 1,100 stitches per minute. It has a one-step buttonhole, an automatic threader. It comes with online classes and an app. It has an extra large stainless steel bed plate. It has a 24 year limited warranty. The bobbins are number 15 transparent. It has a free arm and it has an extra high lifter foot, which is amazing for upcycling. The accessories it comes with is a walking foot, non-stick foot, pack of 100 over 16 needles, clearance plate, AKA hump jumper, all purpose foot, zipper foot, button foot, button hole foot, quilting guide, seam ripper slash lint brush, needles, bobbins, screwdriver, auxiliary spool pin, spool pin felt, and soft sided dust cover. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. If that little subscribe button is red, hit it and turn it gray. And hit the bell to turn on all notifications. You'll never miss another video. And did I mention that when we hit 100K, I will be doing an amazing upcycle of your choice for one subscriber. Yes, it is happening. So definitely subscribe and share this video on your social media so everyone knows all the amazing stuff going on here. Thank you so much. All right, for the Brother Strong Tough, I really like that it comes in this white and black color. Um, it pretty much goes with any sewing room or whatever, or at least it goes with mine. And it has right up on the top, it tells you exactly how to thread the bobbin as well as how to um, thread the sewing machine. It threads pretty much just like any other sewing machine. It has the see-through bobbin cover and it just pulls out. And actually this sewing machine had some plastic up on the top that was on there so well that I just realized when I was about to film this video that the plastic was still on so I took it off because I hate when plastic is still on. But let me know in the comments, are you a plastic lever owner or a plastic taker offer? <laughs> but anyway, it has the reverse foot right here. You can change your stitch tension here, stitch width or your zigzag width, it also moves it moves the needle back and forth. And you can also change your stitch length here. You thread the bobbin there. This one has it where you tuck the extra thread underneath here and then you create your bobbin so you don't have to keep it out on top. It has 37 stitches, which I actually do not use. <laughs> I use maybe three stitches. I use stitch one, two, and three. And that is it. The cover opens and all of your accessories. It has a little, a nice little plastic case. And of course it has a free arm. Now some machines like the front and back come off. This one, just the front comes off and then you can tuck your material underneath. It still has this piece right here. So 
it goes up to like right here. Um, I guess you have a little bit more room there for material, but it's pretty much from there to there where you have your free arm. And then this button here affects the feed dog. So it'll raise the feed dog up and down. The cord on this one, I think is more of a standard length. Um, the other one, I think the cord is slightly shorter, but uh, it's acceptable. And if you're wondering about my little uh, sewing caddy attached to the table, I have a tutorial for that as well. I'll link it here. And definitely let me know in the comments, what is your ultimate budget sewing machine? And what helped you make that decision? Like, what are your parameters? What makes a sewing machine the best to you? And you'll help somebody else. All right, so this is a Singer Heavy Duty 4452. Um, I really like the square body of it. Um, I'm not crazy about the color. Um, you know, like my whole room is gray. So I would have liked the sewing machine to be just white. But this one has so many good reviews that I had to get it. And like I said, I really, really do like the square body of it. Um, I'm also not crazy about that. That, I mean, it's trying to look old school, which I don't want it to. <laughs> but yeah, those dials, that one in particular, I am not crazy about at all. This one, I really like that it has a full metal plate on the bottom and that supposedly just helps the fabric go over it smoother. Um, I, I don't know if I notice a big difference, but I really do like the look of that. It does also have little diagrams to tell you how to thread it and how to thread the bobbin. It has the thread tension here. Then this one, this is needle position. And so you can change your needle position between these. And then this is the normal one that I'm used to that changes the needle position. Then you have your stitch length over here. The tray does open it in the front and it doesn't have a bag. It came with just a, you know, like a plastic wrapper bag, which I've just put everything in here, which is fine. It doesn't get in the way of it closing. And then free arm completely pulls off and you have this room. So like I was saying with the other one, the other one had a certain distance where you had nothing underneath. This one, it's not as much room, even though it goes all the way back, you know, it's not as much room. So now I see why they kind of changed the design on that. And the bobbin is a clear bobbin cover. It just pops out. I would much rather have metal bobbins and I have tried them with metal bobbins. However, the little notch on the top of a metal bobbin gets, the thread gets caught on the top of it. All right, so now we're done with the preliminaries. I hope you guys are ready for the real test. We're gonna do a buttonhole on each of them. We're going to see how many layers of denim each one will do, how many layers of leather each one will do, yes. And we're gonna do delicates to see if it can go all the way from one extreme to the other. All right, let the showdown begin. So this is one layer of denim on the Brother Strong and Tough. And you can see that stitch, the back, two layers of denim. Two layers of denim. And that's the back. Four layers of denim. Four layers of denim. The back. Eight layers of denim. Now this is the feature that these are good for. You see how the foot is down, the foot is up. But I can have that extra amount that I can raise up and I can completely clear that. That's unheard of for a regular sewing machine. Like I can take this all the way through without any effort. But now will it sew from the beginning with this foot going down like that? I don't know. Um, the Singer came with a hump jumper, we'll see. Woo! All right. Oh, I thought the thread broke. The thread didn't break. I don't know what happened. That was a loud noise. Let's try eight without going over the hump. No, that's a no. It will not go through eight layers. Um, let's see what kind of needle I have in here. Ah, this is a 9014. 
That wasn't fair without the correct needle. All right, let's try eight layers of denim. Eight layers of denim. Yes. Got to give it a fair shake. The back stitch. All right, that's 10 layers of denim. The needle will go down in there, so that's good. Yes! 10 layers of denim, baby. Look at that. Changing the game in these streets. <laughs> way too excited but for real if you try to sew through denim tell me you're not excited tell me you're not excited 10 layers of denim like butter so let's go with one layer of denim and there i know for sure this is a number 16 needle because i always keep a 16 needle on this one one layer of denim other side mm. I'm not as impressed with the underside. Let's play with the tension and see if I can get it good. I just did that so y'all can see how fast this one goes. It can go really fast. And that one looks a lot better. I made the stitch length shorter and the uh, tension a little bit looser. Two layers of denim. this one and with this one you can definitely tell the difference between the front and back four layers of denim that's four layers that's the back I actually have tested this machine before so we can go straight to eight unless it makes me eat my words of course it did. Oh, needle bro. Dang. That's the needle. Alrighty, well, eight layers of denim. All right, so that's eight layers of denim. Um, oh, that looks horrible. All right, let's try leather. One layer of leather. Pretty darn good. Yeah, I have um, a skip stitch right here and right here, so that's interesting. Two layers of leather. It skipped like three or four stitches, and then right after that, like two stitches after that. So, yeah, that's not good. Four layers of leather. So there's a lesson. Needles matter, kids. <laughs> no stitches skip. Looks good on the back. It's the bottom one. Let us try six layers. Six layers of leather. Perfectly done. Let's see if we can do eight. That's eight layers not a pretty stitch it'll go through it but it's not pretty should I keep going <laughs> 10 layers of leather wow that actually doesn't look bad at all that's 10 layers of leather that looks good on the back too it's this one that doesn't look bad at all. 10 layers of leather, under $200. So this is real leather. It was the same leather cut from the same piece for both machines. One layer of leather. One layer of leather, looks good. Back looks good. Two layers of leather. It's this stitch here, two layers of leather. Looks really good. The back is pulling just a little bit. Four layers of leather. All right, let's stop. 
I use a non-stick foot on the other one, so it's not fair. Let me use a non-stick foot on this one because it did come with that. Four layers of leather, looks good. This is the back. Eight layers of leather. Eight layers of leather right here. That stitch looks really good. That's the back stitch. So 10 layers of leather, I'm gonna try on the same piece that we used for the other sewing machine. <laughs> All right, let's see. This one has more power, so it just scared me a little bit um, if I had a longer piece. Um, but you can see that the stitches look exactly alike. So that's the Brothers Strong and Tough. This is the Singer Heavy Duty. Now let's look on the back. I believe it's this right here. I'm pretty sure that that's it. All right, so I put the number 14 needle back in and we are going to sew this thin, stretchy uh, material. I know some people have trouble with materials like this, so we're gonna use this thin stretch material. Okay, you can see without any assistance, it drew that up. So let's change the thread tension. Once I started like really guiding it, kind of pulling it towards the back, just a tiny bit, cause it's stretch material. You don't want to, you know, pull it too much, but just make sure it doesn't bunch up. Then it gave me a good stitch. And on the back too. And like, I'm really impressed with the back stitches on this machine. All right. So let's do this stretch. All right, I was completely hands off and it didn't bunch it up. So that's good. That's this stitch here. Perfect stitch. And the back stitch looks really good. All right, so I am going to put my button in there. I did it guys! It's not perfect. It's gonna take some work. But yeah, that's a buttonhole. You put your buttonhole in there. Why are you so bad? And this is the buttonhole it created. This one created. This is the buttonhole that the other one created with the same button. I like this buttonhole better, but I think this one is gonna hold your clothes closed better. You ever had a button malfunction? Nobody likes that. All right, so here are my final thoughts. That did not go down the way I thought it was going to. Like, honestly, after having these two machines for a couple months and just using them, um, you know, in my projects that I do, I thought I knew which one was going to come out on top. However, yeah, you guys saw it. Like, brother, you surprised me. You surprised me. All right, so let's talk about what I love about each machine. I absolutely love that this brother goes through 10 layers of um, leather and eight layers of denim. Or did, did it go through 10 layers of denim? I don't know. That surprised me. Like that really surprised me. I, I'm, I'm outdone. Like, and because like it has less stitches, it goes slower. I just assumed that it wasn't going to go through as many layers. So 
you can't judge a book by its cover or by its specifications. Um, yeah, so I'm happy about that. I'm so happy about the how high the foot goes up. And um, I like the way it looks. So, yeah, it, it was a good purchase for $170 a great machine this one what i love about this one is i really really like the metal plate on it i do like the speed of it um because when i'm just sewing regular stuff with this one sometimes i have it all the way down and i'm like oh would you please go faster that's just me that's how i like to sew um it's my personality like you know, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I really like the speed of this machine. It does feel very durable. It says on the specifications that it has a metal um, carriage, like inside body. So um, yeah, it's very durable. Neither one is like super heavy. Now they're not as heavy as my old machine um, from 10 years ago, but it is an excellent machine. That machine gets really really good reviews i think both machines will last very long um w one thing that bugs me about both machines compared to my old mechanical machine um is that neither machine comes with the ability to set it so that your foot goes down every time you stop or stays up every time you stop and that to me is so annoying it is so annoying and I feel it every time I stop a stitch. And it's, I'm comparing it to my old machine that cost, you know, like $400 10 years ago, which is an expensive mechanical machine. So it may be an unfair comparison, but I just think if they had added just that one little thing, one thing that these machines would be perfect um, because they're better than my old machine in every other way except for that oh and the metal bobbins those plastic bobbins yeah those two things those are the two things that just really annoy me so yeah that's it and i actually have a little secret you guys know that i did my sewing studio tour about two weeks ago maybe two weeks ago but i have an addition in my sewing room and i am just so in awe like just so grateful and so just blown away by this thing. And I'm gonna show it to you, give you a little sneak peek, a little sneaky peeky of my new baby. Yes, this thing is a beast and it is gorgeous and it is mine. And you guys are probably gonna say like, what? Yes, Blueprint DIY has a, a professional, professional. We're going, we going places. So I'm going to do a review on that very soon. Um, I still need to like push it through its paces. But if you want to see something go through some leather, go through some layers, we're going to go through some layers with that one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. And I have a whole host of other videos over here for you to watch. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!